Hi, and welcome to Breaking Bread. I'm Tati. And I'm Father Jamie. Today, we're at Blessed Sacrament Church in Jackson Heights, Queens. Now, if you're a parishioner at Blessed Sacrament, you already know that there's a very big Latin influence in this neighborhood, and it's going to show in our restaurant picks. That's right. This community does have a great Latin influence to it. In fact, the majority of the parishioners of this parish are of Latin descent. Many of them are immigrants from Colombia, Mexico, and Argentina. So as you can imagine, this church has a large turnout for Spanish Mass every Sunday. Even in the artwork of this parish, you can see the Latin influence. The painting here of Our Lady of Guadalupe is absolutely amazing. Now I must warn you, there are tons of good restaurants in this neighborhood, so check out our first spot. If you just happen to be coming down Northern Boulevard, you can't help but take notice of Natives. Why? Because the outside looks like an old movie theater. Okay, old movie theater, Colombian restaurant, what gives? So we decided to come on in and find out what's going on in this restaurant. Consuelo, the owner of Natives restaurant, which has a very interesting history. This place used to be a theater, right? Yes, back in the 1926, it started as a theater. Wow. And how did you end up here? Well, I started in 1988 with a very small location next door. Okay. It was only like a 700 square feet. And we have grown into 700 into 7,000 oh in the gosh. 20 years that I've been the owner. It's been a very enlightening because I am a microbiologist and I end up in this field, I don't know how. Wait, you started from, you were a microbiologist and you ended up in the restaurant business? In the restaurant business. Okay. I try to serve very international food. Okay. Food, very healthy, good prepare, a lot of vegetables, a lot of good food. We started with the corn cakes and the beef, and that was breakfast time. Okay. Then we grew up into breakfast and lunch, and we closed, we used to close at seven. Okay. And now we are 24 hours on the weekends. On the weekends, you're open 24 hours. Right. Okay. Uh -huh. Now this place is beautiful. There's a lot of space here. I know you do more than have dinner here. What else do you do? We do dinner shows. Okay. And we have a beautiful theater up, up in the second floor. Okay. Where we do shows for chloric dances, um, entertainment, um, musicians, all kind of entertainment for the Latin community mainly. Okay, so this is amazing. A microbiologist put this together, so I think this is going to be interesting. Yes, I'm, it is. I'm eager to try this. Thank you. I'm impressed. Let's go try it. Okay. Okay, we're going to make over here the seafood capsule. We started with garlic, garlic and olive oil. Okay. We put an onions. Okay. Red pepper. And we're gonna start frying for a few seconds. Okay. The olive oil is already in the garlic. Okay. And everything is fresh. This is getting out right now. It's a coconut milk. Oh, coconut milk, okay. Okay, coconut milk to give it a, a nice tropical taste. Okay. You know, as I told you, this is a combination cream and heavy cream. And heavy cream. Then we have a combination of seafood. Wow, what's in there? We have calamari. Octopus, the shells, the shrimp, and, and it's really nice and tasty. We have done everything from the beginning. And now? Dry mushrooms dry from the mushrooms Filipino friends. From the Filipino friends. And then we want to make it thicker with a little bit of cornstarch. Okay. Is that cornstarch and water? Cornstarch and water. cornstarch and water to thicken right. it up. Mm -hmm. Great. And that will give us the flavor that we wanted. And now we're going to serve it on a flame? On a flame dish. And on then a we flame take, dish. We take it to the table on a flame dish with coconut milk. With coconut, with coconut, coconut, coconut rice. rice. Okay, keep it. Be because, because it's supposed to be eating the steamy. Nice okay. and hot. Okay. So now, what is that blue stuff? Okay, that's, that's a, a alcohol base a, that we keep nice and hot. And that's the way we serve it. And then we serve it with the coconut rice right here. Coconut rice. You see? 
pero vamos a acercar que no lo lleve. So the next time you're coming down Northern Boulevard and you think you see another average Colombian restaurant in the neighborhood, think again. There are a lot of surprises on the menu here at Natives, and we'd like to thank Consuelo for having us. Of course, it's a pleasure for me to have you guys. Thank you, and your creativity has really surprised me. Thank you. <laughs> so, when you're looking for something that's more than what meets the eye, Natives is the place for you. So make sure you write down this information on your screen so you can come and check them out for yourselves, and we're going to break bread. Of course, that's a good term. <laughs>